Hi everybody, uh, today we're going to have a look at the California Grand 680. Uh, this is our new vehicle that's just arrived with us, uh, it's going to go into the showroom uh, very shortly. So uh, we thought uh, we'd give you a tour around it because we've not had a, a 680 ride for a little while. Um, so uh, this is one that I've actually ordered fresh from the factory. Uh, so I'm going to talk you through what options I've ordered on it, why I've ordered those that's on there as well and uh, have a good look around it and uh, go from there. So uh, let's have a look. As I said, it's the 680, so this is the long wheelbase version, carries up to four people, uh, sleeps up to two people, so two berths. The bed's huge, you could probably get four people on that bed in the back if you really wanted to, uh, that's there as well. So going from the outside of it, uh, I have put LED headlights uh, as an option on this particular vehicle. Uh, I do like the LED lights uh, that's on it as well, I just think, you know, the spending the money on the vehicle, it's, I think it's a, a, a good option that's on there as well, but you know, how much driving you're going to be doing at night, that's the other thing I suppose you'd, uh, you'd weigh up and uh, decide whether they're worth it or not. Let us know in the comments box what you think. Chrome pack again, uh, similar to the one we've shown you quite recently. Uh, so you've got the chrome grille uh, that's on the front of the vehicle. Obviously got parking sensors front and rear, they're, they're standard anyway on the vehicle. Moving around to the side, got the, the vent for the gas, uh, which is standard. Uh, we've got our toilet flap that's here. Um, I have gone with the SOG system, with the SOG system, for the toilet that's in there. Put that on as an option. Not a huge expense, so I thought I'll pop it on anyway. Uh, and then the other thing I've gone for on here is the additional window in the back. So this window is standard, uh, and then there's an optional extra to have this window and the window uh, on the side as well. Again, I'll show you inside the vehicle when we go inside to see what you think. Uh, I just I quite like the window, just thinks it makes it look a bit airy that's in there. It's one of those, either you do like it or you don't want it. I ordered it because I haven't seen many with it, uh, just see what it's like. So again, love to know what your thoughts are on that. Uh, our electrical hookup that's on the back here, which is standard on the vehicle as we know. Uh, coming around to the back, we've got all our usual things that we would expect in the vehicle as standard that's on here. So we've uh, got our camping chairs on both sides, our table that slots into here. We've got our bed in the rear with all of our storage that's in here and as a reminder for you your gas bottles are in this first one here this first locker that's where they would go and you've got uh, the locker for the electrics which we've looked at before and then a spare locker here uh, we've got our shower connections which there should be a shower there we go in there a power socket at the back as well which i think we've shown you before 12 volt in your main socket should you need to plug something into the back the all-important reverse camera, which is up at the top. Okay, so moving on to this side, we've got our water fill-up, which we're all used to. Again, that additional window, uh, which is on the side, it says uh, the option is, is you get it on both sides of the vehicle, so it's two additional windows. Uh, we've got the awning rail up at the top. And just below the awning rail is our step illumination. Uh, step illumination I spoke about before, it's a £50 uh, plus fat option, so uh, I think it, it's worth having it in there as well. The inside on these is pretty much standard, um, so as far as the optional extra is concerned on this vehicle. So we'll show you the rear in a second. It's a bit gloomy today outside, uh, but to give you an idea, uh, the kind of light that you get uh, in the back of the vehicle that's there as well. I've already put the table up, uh, so the table's up in here with your chairs, etc. Uh, and going around from there, and we'll have a quick look at the dash as well, uh, show you that's there. Obviously we've got on here, uh, we'll show you in a second, but we've got our hob and our sink. And uh, with the 680, we've got this longer cupboard in here as well so we've got a lot more counter space on the uh, on the 680 uh, obviously the bathroom wise which is the same uh, is all between the 600 and the 680 uh, but what you have got is this extra cupboard here uh, so we've got a cupboard in here that you can put a, uh, a rail in if you wanted to for example and a lower cupboard down here and then obviously you've got extra cupboards at the side as well uh, so you've got that little bit extra space it's kind of in here that you see the bigger differences now between the uh, the 600 and the 680 obviously because they're based on on the, the bigger the longer wheelbase on here obviously you've got a lot more length in here and a lot bigger bed uh, at the back because you're sleeping as I said before if you watch the other videos you're sleeping uh, back to front so uh, along here 
where with the 680 you're sleeping across the vehicle uh, which is why you've got those pods uh, on the side as well. Uh, so this vehicle's got three last options uh, so we've got mud flaps on the vehicle um, running joke at the moment you know my feelings on mud flaps I tend to put them on a lot of vehicles that I get in for uh, for some reason but I'm not going to go into that today um, and uh, obviously this one's also got solar as well so just above my head around here uh, there is a solar panel I think solar is a good option it depends on where you think you're using the vehicle as well because obviously you know solar being solar a day like today outside for example it's not probably not going to be doing a, a huge amount to charge the vehicle up but obviously in summertime and things like that uh, it will be uh, will be doing uh, will be doing a bit more uh, we've got a video coming up actually uh, quite soon as well we're going to be looking at the electrics uh, and not about how you know what you can and can't plug in and that type of uh, type of stuff but what actually works and what doesn't work when you're plugged into the mains and we're going to look at it on the Grand California and on the ocean coast and beach uh, so just give you a run through on that as well and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the solar as well at the same time as doing that so uh, that video is coming up probably in a week or two's time uh, so a bit more information for you then uh, as well and then the final option this has got is the lights and visions pack so it gives you the auto lights and the, and the automatic windscreen wipers as well uh, just a nice little option uh, it doesn't cost a huge amount